What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at one of my favorite record pools of all time, Direct Music Service. That's coming up next. <laughs> So as many of you know, one of my most popular videos was a best record pools video. A lot of you probably found my channel because of that video. It's still my most viewed video to date. So I definitely like to do these record pool reviews uh, just to give you guys an inside look at what the pool looks like, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Uh, truly an honest review. Um, Direct Music Service is one of the record pools that I've been using the longest. Uh, once I stumbled upon it, I signed up and I've had a membership ever since and that's been, gosh. I mean, probably the better part of 10 years now at this point. Uh, DMS came out, on their website it says that they launched back in 1999, so they've been providing music since 99. Um, I didn't become a DJ till like 2011, so <laughs> way before my time. But that's just a testament, you know, um, that they've been around a while, they definitely know what they're doing. And I've actually had the opportunity to meet a lot of the remixers for DMS. Uh, you know, Warren Peace, he's one of the owners, uh, great dude. Met him at the DJ Collective um, twice now. Drew Pierce, Scooter, Fuse, um, that's to, just to name a few. They've actually got a lot of guys on the team. They're all awesome. Let's jump in here. I'm gonna do a screen recording, walk you guys through the site, tell you the things that I like, the things that I don't like. Uh, to be honest with you, there's not much that I don't. So uh, they've definitely addressed some problems over the years, made things better. And there's actually also a mobile app, which is pretty cool. So with a mobile app, what you do is you download that to your phone, and you can add things to your, basically like your queue, <clears throat> so that you can come back and download them later once you get onto the computer. So super useful if you're in the car and you hear a song that you like, that type of thing. Uh, you can look it up on the app and then save it to download later. But let's hop over to the computer and I'll give you guys a quick tour. All right guys, so we're here in DMS. When you first just punch in the website, directmusicservice.com, this is where you're gonna head. This is gonna be the, just I guess the launch page, the homepage, whatever you wanna call it. So you're gonna start here. You're going to go to log in, or if you don't have a membership yet, you're going to go to join, join there. Um, actually, I'm not even sure what the pricing is, so I'm going to click join and see. So I know they're pretty particular about uh, who they let in, meaning you do have to be an active DJ. You got to have social media handles, that type of stuff. Um, I actually do the pro yearly, which is this one right here. So it's unlimited downloads. Um, I like that one because some months I might download five songs, some months I might download 50. So it's nice to, you know, or more, whatever, 100. Uh, so it's nice to have that unlimited and it's the, the most savings, right? Um, the cheapest one is gonna be the starter pack. It's $29.99 a month. Uh, you're gonna get 40 downloads. If you pay the yearly, you save a little bit of money. Uh, 40 downloads a month is probably enough. Um, like I said, for me, I like to just, sometimes I'll skip a month or two honestly and then i'll just come back through and just hammer through and download a bunch of new stuff so it's probably not the best practice but that's how i do it um so here's the pricing right here 29.99 a month for up to 40 downloads 44.99 a month for up to 80 and then unlimited is 65. so once you get signed up you're going to go to login and click sign in there this is going to be kind of your dashboard so you have your dashboard here uh, there's going to be music. See right here, it says I have unlimited downloads. You got music, playlists, blog, the shop. So the shop's like where you get gear, blog. They actually have some pretty cool stuff in here. Um, episode links to the, uh, the Drew and Fuse show. If you guys are not watching or listening to the Drew and Fuse show podcast, sign up for their YouTube channel, follow them on YouTube, you know, follow them on Spotify, on, you know, Apple podcasts, whatever. Watch their, watch and listen to their, their show guys. It's awesome. Um, hopefully, shameless plug, hopefully I'll be on there soon. We'll see. We'll go back to login here, get back to the home screen. So this is going to be your dashboard when you first log in. So from here, you can, I'll just go across these tabs. So this is going to be where you search basically the whole directory of music. Um, you've got browse here. So new releases, exclusives, custom search, top downloads. Their custom search feature is really good. 
Um, it's one of the best, I think, out of all the record pools as far as drilling down and finding the stuff that you really want. They do a really good job of tagging their tracks. So as far as genres and all that type of stuff, um, it makes it super easy to search and find things. So here's gonna be your genres. So pop, hip hop, R&B, house EDM, rock alternative, indie new wave, disco funk, reggae country, and then DJ tools. So this is gonna be, DJ tools is gonna be edits, samples, party breaks, that type of stuff. Um, just just tools more so than just remixes all right and then from the top here you've got the date that things were added so you can search by date so it's automatically going to default to the newest stuff added to the catalog you can sort by year you can sort by artist title you can sort by editor i do this a lot because there's some specific editors that i really like um you know scooter you know simo's got some really good edits as far as uh like throwback stuff he's one to definitely check out um drew pierce obviously fuse they're, they're all great uh but some of those guys do specific genres and things like that that I like to search. So you can also go to top downloads. So from here, it'll give you the top downloads for all the different for the different genres. You can search by decade. That's a pretty cool feature. So if you're looking for some 90s music, 80s music, that type of thing, it's gonna give you all genres based on those decades, which is uh, super cool. So as far as top downloads go, you can search by genre and then you can drill down by last week, last month, last three months, last six months. That's a really cool search feature, especially if you're just signing up. It gives you a great opportunity to kind of get that backlog of the, of the catalog and search that way. Another really cool feature is the playlists. So these are curated playlists, um, kind of think along the lines of, I guess if you're a member of Crate Hackers, um, it's kind of like that, where they have these curated playlists. The only difference is with these playlists, these are all gonna be tracks that you can download from DMS. With Crate Hackers, obviously, you may not be able to get all the tracks from one record pool. But we've got a bunch of these curated, curated playlists in here. Pretty cool feature. Closing songs. And some of these are actually Crate Hackers crates, which is kind of cool. Uh, they DMS does partner with Crate Hackers. If you're not a member of Crate Hackers, I got a link to that video. I'll actually leave it up here somewhere. Uh, link to my Crate Hackers review. I need to do a new one for them because they've definitely made some changes and uh, stepped up the game as far as that goes. So back to music, back to the home screen here. Um, I'll just give you some examples here. So one of my favorite editors, uh, sorry, Drew, but Scooter takes the cake here. So if you search Scooter, you're going to get all of Scooter's remixes that he has listed on DMS. So this this catalog goes way back. I mean, he's been a DMS editor for a long time. You can go all the way to the oldest, see what the oldest Scooter edit's going to be. Back, I mean, all the way 2009, 2000, yeah. He's had tracks on here for, yeah, 2009. So the first edit they have from Scooter was 2009. But all his catalog's gonna be on here, most of them anyway. All right, so some of my favorite edits, obviously the Scooter edits are awesome, but you can also go in here and search, I'm gonna search Essential. So these Essential edits are some of my favorites. Um, I, I use almost all of these. And then also one of the other ones is hook only. So what hook only is, is obviously it's exactly what it says. It's the hook only. So they're usually short edits. Uh, they're really good for songs that maybe people only know the hook or, you know, whatever. It's like that, got that, that nice drop that you're going to get in, in and out of it quickly. Those are some of my favorites and they're short. I like the quick mix. So I'm in and out of songs fast. These hook only edits are great for that. Um, like here's a essentials hook only, but, Anyway, guys, this is basically DMS, right? Like I said, you can sort by editor, you can search by editor, however you want to go about it. Um, they do a really good job of cataloging everything, like I said. Um, again, decades, top downloads. I use this top downloads a lot. So what I'll do is I'll go to like all genres for the last week, go. So that's going to give me the top downloads, not just the new stuff. It's going to be the top downloads that everyone's searching um, in the last week. So super cool way to go about it i'll play one for you this is yeah pretty new one so scooter reading rainbow theme over up i'm gonna hop back out of here again if you haven't tried dms yet highly recommend it guys it is well worth the money
All right, guys, now that is DMS. I hope you like this quick review. Uh, try to be as thorough as possible. Uh, definitely give these guys a shot. You know, it's one of my favorite record pools. Uh, right now, full disclosure, I'm only signed up for three. I have DMS, Heavy Hits, and Club Killers. You know, not really looking to, to add any more uh, unless something crazy comes along. That's just a really awesome pool because those three pretty much cover everything for me and I'm super happy with them. As always, guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications on my upcoming videos. Lots of gig logs coming. Wedding season is going to be crazy busy. Uh, I got a couple other videos on some gear coming too. So sorry, I know I've been uh, on a little bit of a hiatus for a couple months, but I'm back. I promise. Peace. No.